Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your man, Bobby Washington, producing a songwriter and filmmaker. This is my Bobby Washington vlog channel. Please subscribe to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, make the Roland Integra work inside of Cubase or any other DAW. Um, I had trouble with it um, at first, but now I got it. Um, so basically, you want to make sure that you install this driver um, first. Make sure you have the Integra 7 driver not the, just the editor. You want the editor 2. Point, I think they're on 2.05 now for the Mac. So, um, and I believe uh, for the Windows as well. But make sure you also have a driver that matches your system. Mine is the uh, 1.04 driver for the 10.15, which is Catalina that I'm running. So you want to install that first. Then you want to install the um, the editor. Okay. Um, once you install that, um, make sure that you don't have the Integra plugged in yet. Install those without it having uh, without it being USB plug uh, to the computer. Okay, once it's installed, then you can plug it up. Then you want to make sure that this is set up correctly. The Integra, you want to um, do a factory reset. So you go to Edit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go to Menu. Menu. Go to Utility. Utilities. Press Enter. Then go to Factory Reset. Once you do a factory reset. You're gonna uh, power off the unit, wait a couple seconds, and then power back on. Okay, power back on. And then you wanna come into Cubase, right? And the first thing you wanna do is right click, create an instrument. Then you wanna make sure the Integra is selected at the top, instrument, stereo out, press OK. First thing you wanna do is come in here, go to utility, go to device. You want to make sure the Integra is selected on both input and output. Press OK for I'm sure, right? Then you want to make sure that you press read, right? Once you press read, it's going to read through your entire your entire um, unit. It's going to go through this. So it's going to go through 1 through 12, right? To 100%, right? Once it's done, it's, that means it read every all the sounds. So give it a second. Okay, it's going through pretty fast. All right, cool. Now it read all the sounds. If you press preview, um, you're gonna see that this, the set that we're on, um, let's see, let's make it bigger. All right, the set that we're on is a bass. Let's see what happens. See, it's previewing a bass from, you know, so it give you an idea what the sound sounds like. Whatever, whatever you put in here, um, whatever sound you put is what's going to play. So we go to, Let's say some strings. It'll give us a preview of some strings. That's a violin. It's previewing right now. So let's do a different one. Um, if we go to cello, it'll preview. See? <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, so now you want to make it, you want to make 16 different parts, right? You have 16 different parts, so you want to play 16 different parts, correct? So we're on part one. There's two, three, four, five, and all the way through 16. So... What you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you right click, press add MIDI tracks. I'm going to add 16. 16 tracks. 16 tracks. Well, let me add one for now. Let's add one for now. I want to make sure it lines up correctly. So we're going to add one for now. So it says track two. I wanted to say track one because track one is being occupied by the Integra at the top. So let's make sure that we you know select channel one for channel one as well right so we'll check we'll put channel one here now we'll make 15 more tracks all right 15 more midi tracks should i say midi tracks boom all right 15 more and they're going to be in chronological order all right so as you touch on them so what you want to do you want to go ahead and make sure you select inside of them the Integra 7. And we're on channel 1 right there. All right? So now, over here, on part 1, we're on that cello. So we change. You can be in, right now I'm in studio set. You can be in tone as well, but I like to be in studio set. I can select a uh, different category. Let's go to acoustic guitar or electric guitar. Electric guitar. Clean guitar, right there. It's the first one to select is clean guitar. Right? 
right? You can change it. Um, let's go to part two, MIDI two. Make sure we select for the output, Integra seven. That's channel two. So since we're on channel two there, we gotta come to part two here. And we're gonna find our sound here. We're in strings down. See? And so forth. We can change the category. Um, we can select something like a, I don't know, or a choir, voice, voice choir. Um, let's see what happens here. The voice choir is selected for number three. And you can change the type of voice choir down here. You know, pure stage. It's a large choir, all right? Oh, that's number two, I'm sorry. Large choir, number two. Boys choir, right there. All right? So you can change it up here or down there, it looks like. Hold on a second. Yeah, you can change it up there or down there. So you can change it on the part right here or you can change it up here, whatever you prefer. All right, categories can be changed. Category has to be changed up here only. You're gonna change the category up here. So synth leads, that's a solid lead, number two. So I would think it's the same thing, man. You open up this as a main instrument part in Logic or, or Sonar, and then you put MIDI tracks up under it and just point it to the Integra 7 itself. But make sure that you set this up correctly. Go to device. Like I showed you, select the uh, Integra 7 twice, input, output. Make sure you press read. If you don't press read and it don't go all the way through 100%, it's not going to read the sounds. It's not going to be able to play any sound, okay? So I hope this guy, I hope this helped you guys. I like to make videos that give me issues um, and I can't find anybody else on YouTube that I can actually go through the whole thing and really show you. Um, I found a, a guy in, in China, but, you know, he wasn't even talking and his, his words um, on his screen was all Chinese. So I didn't understand anything. That was going on there. All right, so hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions, um, please give me um, a, a comment below. Please subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Instagram, Bobby Wash. All right, peace and blessings. These three hats have three different meanings. I'm gonna break them down hat by hat. This hat represents me, the family man, husband and father. This hat represents me the musician, producer, singer, songwriter, street promoter. This hat represents me as a filmmaker, feature films, and vlogging. These hats also represent where I'm from, Miami. The cliche, you're a jack of all trades, but somehow I managed to master all three. I'm Bobby Washington, and these are my vlogs.